What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're gonna be drawing the Incredible Hulk. Let's get started by drawing the bottom edge of the island. Starting over on the left side, starting on the outside, we're gonna curve up and then we'll bend that down on the inside. Now we're gonna leave a gap in the center and draw the same thing on the right. So you wanna line this up, curve up, round this out and then come down. Let's curl the inside edge of the brow. Starting on the left, curve in and then up. And do the same thing on the right side. Now I'm just going to connect the inside of the brow with another curve, coming down and then up. And then we'll tuck the eyes in underneath the brow. Starting on the outside, one step in and draw a half circle, coming down towards the bottom of the eye, and then pull that in towards the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right, coming down and then pulling that up. And then we're going to push the pupils towards the inside of the eye. Starting at the top, just going to draw a small circle, coming around, and then just pull that up towards the inside of the eye. Let's do the same thing on the right, coming around, and then back up. Let's go to the top and thicken up the eyebrow. Starting from the outside, I'm going to curve up and then in. Do the same thing on the right. And then we'll just taper this down towards the inside of the brow, so the spacing gets narrower as we come in. Let's go ahead and fill the pupils in black. Now we're going to move to the center and draw on the nose. Starting on the left side, we're going to curve down and then up on the right. Now I'm going to step up and draw a short curve in the opposite direction for the bridge of the nose. And then we're going to move down and draw the top edge of the mouth. Starting back on the left, curve down, and then up. From the top corner of the mouth, we're going to curve out, and then down towards the bottom of the mouth. And then we'll connect the ends with a curve, coming down, and then up on the right side. Let's add the top row of teeth, starting over on the left side. I'm going to come down and then pull that up. Now I'm going to come down to the bottom and draw the bottom row of teeth, starting back on the left, curve up and then down. We're also going to add the tongue in the back. So in between the teeth, we'll start with a point. From here, I'm going to curve up and then down towards the left. Go back to the center, curve up and then down towards the right. And then we'll fill the inside of the mouth in black. I also want to add a fold on the inside of the eye. Let's start on the left, we're going to curve down and then out towards the left and right side. From the bottom corner of the eyebrow, we're going to step out and draw on the cheek. So we're going to curve down and then just pull that in. Let's do the same thing on the right, coming down and then in. And then from the outside of the cheek, we're going to curve down the bottom of the chin and back up on the right. So we're going to come down just underneath the mouth and we'll pull that up on the right side. Let's round out the side of the head. Starting from the top of the cheek, we're going to curve out and then pull that in towards the top. Now before we draw on the hair, I'm going to move back down and draw the ears. From the top of the cheek, we we'll curve up, round out the ear, and then pull that in towards the side of the head. And we'll do the same thing on the right side. Let's add the fold inside the ear. Starting from the cheek, curve up and then out. I'm gonna go back to the left side and draw the front edge of the hair. Starting up here, we're gonna curve down and in. Then we'll go up and in. Let's draw another one. Coming down and in. We'll go up towards the top. Now I'm gonna curve in the opposite direction. Curving out and then down. Okay, bring that back up. We're going to add one more point. Going out and then down. And we'll pull this up towards the side of the head. Let's add the hairline on the side of the head. Starting from the top of the cheek, I'm going to curve up and tuck that in behind the hair. 
We also want to accentuate the brow. So we're going to add two curves just up above the eyebrows. Starting on the left, curve up, and then out. Line this up on the right, and we'll do the same thing. And then we'll draw the outside of the hair. Starting back on the left, curve out and down. And we'll just taper that back up and in. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving out and down, and pulling that back in. Let's go back to the left and work our way over towards the right. From here, curve out. We're going to create a point. Going up, then down on the inside. Now we're going to go in the opposite direction. Going up, then out towards the right. And pull that down. Now let's curl this one up. Going out, then up. Coming down and in. And then we'll add one more point. Going out, and then down. And then we'll just close off the bottom. Now we're going to move down and draw on the side of the body. Starting on the left side, we're going to leave a little gap. Curve out and down towards the hip. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. And then we'll close off the bottom, starting on the left. Come down and then bend that up. Let's add some muscles to the body. Starting on the left side, we're going to draw a curve going up and then down from the bottom edge of the chest. Now underneath the chin, we're going to draw a straight line coming down. And then we're going to add some stomach muscles. Just underneath the chest in the center, we'll curve down and then up towards the left. Go back to the center, curve down and then up towards the right. We're going to do that one more time. Stepping down, curve down and up. And then one more time on the right. Now we're going to add a torn edge along the top of the pant. Starting on the left hip, curve out and then down. And do the same thing on the right. And then we'll add a zigzag pattern from left to right. Going up and then down. Just repeat this all the way across. And then from the center of the body, we're going to step down and draw a curve from left to right, going up and then down. Leaving a gap in the center, go to the left side, and go out and down towards the left heel, move over towards the right, out and down towards the right heel. Now we're going to round up the heel and go up towards the toes. Round this out, come down and then up, and do the same thing on the right. Come down, then up. And then we'll add three toes on either side. Starting from the end of the foot, we're going to draw a large C, going around and then back in. And do the same thing on the right side. And then we're going to add two more toes on either side. Starting from the top, so we curve around and back in, and we'll do that one more time. Now in between the second and last toe, we're going to draw a curve, going up and then in. Do the same thing on the right. And then we'll move back up to the hips and draw the side of the leg. From this point, we're going to step in, curve out, and then down on top of the foot, sort of aiming towards the big toe. Let's do the same thing on the right, going out and then down. And then we'll tear out the bottom edge of the pant. Starting on the left side, we'll draw a zigzag, going up and then down. And then we'll repeat this all the way towards the inside of the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now let's move up and draw in the arm stretched out towards the side. So we start on the left side of the head, curve out and then up towards the wrist. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. And then from the wrist, we're going to curl around the thumb. Let's step in to create an overlap. Curve in, out. Now we want to round out the thumb and then pull that back in. And then we draw on the palm, curving out and then down. Let's do the same thing on the right. Stepping down, curve up, out. Round out the thumb and then pull that back in. And then from the bottom of the thumb, we'll curve in the palm. Now we're going to curl three fingers in behind the thumb. Let's start at the top, we're going to draw an oval, going up and out, round up the finger, and then pull that back in. And we'll add two more fingers on the side. Stepping down, draw an oval, going out, down and up underneath the thumb. I'm going to do that one more time. Going up, down, and then in. Let's do the same thing on the right side.
Let's go to the bottom of the last finger and curve the outside of the hand. And come down and then just hook that up, sort of aiming towards the wrist. Do the same thing on the right. Coming down and then bending that up. And then from the bottom of the hand, we're going to curve down and in behind the body. Bending that in towards the side. Let's do the same thing on the right. Coming down and just lining this up on the side of the body. And that's pretty much it. There's the Incredible Hulk. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.